you all know how long I try to go live all year. So it's a meal prep video where we plan. So I'm making sure we had the light set up here in the kitchen for us. You all will be rocking with me tonight. All right, set up the camera good. Let me go, let me go. Let me see if I can get more light for it. Nice. I have only kitchen light right now. I have only overhead light over here. Good night, good night. Let me make sure you chat on to get everything on in live chat. All right. What's going on, people? What's going on? Good night. So, I find it bright though. Let's see if this, if that give it an extra boost. And no one up over here, so let me go it off. Get the madam. Alright, so. Let me see if we get another extra boost in life. Alright, so we meal prepping. So, the plan is to have food for the next two days of work or the next three days of work. So. Let me do a little chit chat and for everybody who joining us on the rerun, that is okay to catch us on the rerun in case you miss the live, you're going to the bed early. The time right now is about 7.25. Um, just came back from all the road, took all the garbage a little earlier, gave the girls a bath, they went over by grandma. A little while now because we sprayed for mosquitoes. Is that season and day in all? We had rain today as well earlier. It looked like rainy season start. So let me show you what's going on in the counter. So this is like what I'm thinking about for meal prepping for this week. Because in Trinidad, as we all know, the price of everything is going up. And you can't expect to cook every day. Not only cooking every day, you can't expect to buy groceries, to have groceries to cook for every day. And you're working Monday to Friday. So I believe it makes sense to cook three times a week or four for the most. The most times they cook, they cook for two days. That is the best way to meal prep. Or in some cases, three days. And have things to interchange. So like last week, we did Monday night, we did noodles, white rice, and lentil bees. Tuesday, we cooked the baji, I believe, on the live. And then later down, you all would have seen that uh, Sunday, we would have not Sunday, sorry, um, Saturday we'd have done provision. And the noodles where we made the Monday, we ate all that on the Saturday. Because we had some leftover wings, because at night we was coming home, we bought um, wings. And we mixed those wings with the noodles and we ate that a day. The provision got ate out yesterday. Um, the rice and peas, the girls enjoyed that this week because that was their lunch. And the provisions, yeah. So, it's to be able to cook and mix and match. So, if she didn't want to eat provision, she still had rice, she still had noodles. And it's the final way that your food don't waste. So, even though the food lasted like five days, because after I finished cook, three hours later, I made sure and put it on ice. So, the food, even though we don't feel to eat it now, we come back and eat it later. Good night, good night to the people joining the live. All right. So, let me show you all the items we have tonight, right? So, I could do it some cold water now while there. Let me pull along this stuff here. Today, we actually went to the grocery, but they were closed. So, we did not get to get grocery because I wanted to make Sunday food. I wanted macaroni pie, them kind of thing. And when you have pie, you can make that stretch for the week. So, let me show you what we have here, how we want to make it work, right? So I started by cleaning my garlic to chop up over here. We have a tin of peas and carrot, a tin of um, pigeon peas, sugar. Y'all, today in Grandia, I stopped off and I bought chicken. Let me flip back the camera because all it, all it need to, to get my facial reaction for this, right? One of the things we wanted to do was go extra foods because as you all know, they have the plenty for 20 sale and you have to take part and buy the things that you need, what is a priority. 
So I was telling Nisha, so I was like, babes, you have to get this and this for the house. Detroit now they have two um economy pack or calypso pack they just used to make pay now. They have two of that for twenty dollars and I said ah goodbye because last year when it was length I would have bought a be chicken breast or something when they had the packs for twenty dollars for one. You also we didn't go the pie, we said we go do a pillow and see what we go do. So time to go for chicken. The first place I find the place was a little fresh, but I didn't buy the chicken there. I went in a Chinese store. A Chinese grocery and I walked out spending $46. Take note, this is item number two. And item number one was chicken, chicken breast. Y'all, I paid $30 for this amount of chicken breast. Yeah. $30 for two pieces of breast. One piece smaller than my hand, and then the next piece. <laughs> like this so and i showed this and i was like yeah to have a reason why i stopped eating meat as much for this year i'm not a big fan of it anymore and you really ain't getting justice and yeah i didn't like that at all so that's that only a bread and a chicken imagine if i had to buy these ingredients to make the pillow as well and that remind me the, the joke with the video that all of us would have seen on social media with the, the young man. And this is why I love our 3D people, eh? This is why I love our 3D people. You all remember seeing the video on, um, on thing with the young man talking about, nah, we don't eat KFC. You want to buy 10 apiece? You buy some chicken? And then you get a pillow. And that pillow go good for two days. And you still like this, the better. And then five minutes later, I see them saying, you know, in front of KFC, to that box up KFC, right? I ain't gonna lie, all it. Today we pass by KFC, and I say, this, you know, I don't mind eating at KFC, young. Know? It's been a while. I haven't eaten KFC in like at least 40 days. Because I don't, they didn't eat it last time I get paid. I ain't eat it now. So I know it's been uh, probably the last time I ate KFC was the start of February. Yeah, probably start of February, if anything. So. What I made last night is I needed some flour. I made two pot bake. One for mommy, one for the girls here. I made it under four balls and the next two I cut off the, the pot bake on the same the same thing that I showed you. I got I roll it out on this and I cut it in four, put it in the in the frying pan. And you all I literally put this amount of oil in the frying pan and I keep flipping it and I made fry bake like that with limiting the use of oil and it came out really nice. And then the next piece of dough that I had, circular like this, I placed it in the frying pan. And when it's done, I cut it in half and I put butter and cheese in that oil. And the fry bake last night, that was good. Well, the fry bake and the pot bake. So, tomorrow morning we'll be leaving 6 o'clock. So, I know we ain't going to want to stay up late tonight. And we ain't going to make no pot bake and this and that. And as I said, initially, pot bake is the best. So, Start with the sugar in the pot. How are you going on the live? How are you going? I know most of you are watching on the TV, so it's been having no comments coming in as yet. I'm coming over to the pot here, y'all. You're coming over to the pot here. So, we have a sugar in the pot. I, believe it or not, when I make it pale or oil, I enjoy the peas and the rice part more than the meat. I really like chicken in my pale oil. Yeah. <laughs> that is just me. All right, some pre-mentos to cut off now. This actually told me when he found out 
extra foods was cool she's like jacob you know westby's open but it would have been too far to go westby's so next time after work at night we'll swing in and get the essentials because some of the things we saw we wanted was like the three pack of ketchup for 20 the extra food soap um if i don't know if we need it but i don't think we need butter i think we have enough butter to make it last until month end. but things like that we need to wash clothes and use those type of things how did you all spend your holiday but your holidays you are so cool hmm. level traffic only Real people on the road. Yeah, when then Johnny and Nesh watching, because I know when Johnny see my notification, he just come on and watch. Good night, my family. If you all are locked on watching the live, I'm home alone. And my partner would have sell the grapefruit and the potato and then and give me potato the coconut and thing. He wasn't out there and this was one of those weekends when I felt for it the most. Line any time out, but that's a good thing I check because what did I miss the part why empty the chicken in the pot only and then what did I be back with me? Same only what I be back with me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what well, is this? It's 30 dollars in chicken and Trinidad. Team. Turn out the fire a little bit, cover down the pot. Small pot cover now, what the bigger pot cover? Alright, so one of the next steps you need is well, this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try a little water in the bowl. And I'm going to leave this cover on because a little later we go and throw this in the pot. It just as something as Chinese, we believe in the flavor, the taste, so the leftover seasoning, the leftover chicken. This is sauce that's going inside there. I don't know why, but I just grew up knowing people just do this and see people doing this. And I believe it does work. So who vex? I'm sorry, but this is how we learn how to cook. There's still our flavor in here. So you just go in with a little inner water, mix it up. But in the meanwhile, your chicken staying like that in there. Over here now, I have a little piece of ginger. I have my pimentos on the cutting board. Somebody just come in the comments. Good night, good night. Good night, Denise. Hi. Is Denise or Diana C? Good night, dear Denise. Yes, honey. So that is something that we just know that we have to do our next comment no no yeah that's just something we know we have to do on it you have to put some water in the thing get the flavor like today when i was going on the road i passed and i saw a gentleman selling i am pumpkin and i say well i will buy my color or something or i'll get my okra and grandy it didn't have that and i was like on my way back up i will stop by here oh yeah a pound of pumpkin, four dollars. This, this is what a pound of pumpkin looks like. A real sorry, a real sorry. I know where it is to get rubber, and I know for sure this is not a pound of pumpkin because you see this. This is a pound and a half a potato. Hey, hey, my minions, come on, what? Where are they cooking? Daddy cooking some nice food for you, girl. Nice food. Yeah, nice food. Daddy, Daddy. 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 Daddy.
She wants to come home, boy. I like that much. I know where home is. So, I grate another the ginger. Come on, say goodnight on the live day. I want to say goodnight. I'm talking to my family. Cooking. Daddy cooking. Peel out. So you will get food to eat tomorrow. This is the chicken and the pot watch. See it? Did you get a chicken stew and you will make people think I'm born in the pot? Yeah. What? She said, yeah. Daddy not born in the pot. Daddy stew in the chicken. Chicken. Yeah, daddy's still in the chicken. You like it? Yes. <laughs> Say good night. Good night. <laughs> daddy will come down. You want to come down? Uh huh. Good night. Winnie Pooh Pepper. Where's it? Where's um Honey Pepper? New name? Wild Wild Honey Pepper? No way. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Say good night. Good night. Say how are you? How are you? Mm -hmm. All right. I'm gonna put in my veggies. So now I'm going to put in the pimentos, the garlic, the ginger. And I hope I don't get no copyright because you'll see and then people use it and eat back on the main road I should say real hard. You're seeing it too good? When you come here. When you come here. 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 Unfortunately, you all not shut up by me drying up. I have to replant some um, semi January, some shadow by me, <laughs> and some side. I just have about two, three side remain back. Oh, I have some bananas. Think I'm making a little punch. Yeah, I spray it, yeah. When will I leave, I spray. Alright. So, I'm to cover them. The next step now, a pigeon peas. Yeah. Oh, we are comments coming now, check for it. Like something I know, like if you're not making a big pot, what I used to practice doing long time is when I, the pigeon peas or the peas and carrot, I would have only used half in, in my pot and save the rest in the deep freeze for the next day. Especially if you like me, you just like the the pea, the peas are nice and the pea out. Good night, Ava. I know the color of your um, your background photo. So when you comment, I know that by by heart because I know you watch it. That's about five years now plus. Before I I born and we locked out to the channel. So I just finished wash it out. This is how much I get here in teacup measurement. It's about a cup and a half a tea. Um, let me check the comments now. Uh, let me swipe down. Good night, Natty. Oh gosh, my finger wet. Taking my advice, and I throw all out of the cup and the half. I throw about a cup. So next time, I go me. All I ask about the comments. Okay, I have to go back. 
Let me see the comments now, yes. Um, pretty girl, why you hiding? Hey fam, how has it been? I'm glad I caught this live. Yes fam, welcome to the live. Check up how mom and Johnny, they are good. Where did we know Nish? Daddy. Yeah, Raya. Yeah, so this is the chicken and the peas here. Um, they're good, they're good. Natty, I love banana punch with almond milk, peanut butter. I want peanut slash or peanut butter, ground flex seed spice. Oh, Natty, you you can yeah. sell punch, girl. Hey, you can add protein powder. I usually cut up the banana and freeze it. Yes, um, is my girl teach me that one? Just now, just now. Yes, it's Mariana taught me about cutting up and freezing and those type of things. Just now coming back, right? I want to not get stick up any comments. So lizard and thing don't come through them holes in the kitchen. I freed them thing bad. Girl, lizards and things to come through anyway. You don't need a hole for a lizard to come through to come in your house. The smallest thing. The smallest thing, you'll be surprised. Yes, again, that is why I say I wanted to stop the peas and carrots. I want to open next. I'm going to load on my fire. So, your front door, underneath your front door, a lizard go come in. And lizards good for your house. Eh? They just kill certain creatures, keep certain creatures away from their house. And all houses have a house lizard. I remember when we first moved in. Oh, it's only house lizard we just there. I remember when we first moved in, they only had one house lizard. He, he formed a family. It became three of them. Tell an argument at night. And there was fights and they fall in the pot. A pot, I empty pot on the stove. And that's how we get that to them. This is the peas and carrots here. I'm only going to use a, a little less than half of this. The thing about this is I don't like the quality of peas and carrots. And Nisho, me and Nisho spoke about this recently. Old Nisha and I, you know, she's my grandma teacher. That they don't, they don't make them thing proper no more. Um, the peas just be so off and them kind of thing. So, what I rather do is cut up a carrot and put it in my pot. And I believe it's cheaper to do that as well. So I love it because I wash my rice here at all. And I have to wash your rice and put your rice in the pot. Alright, so this is the amount of carrot I cut up here. Daddy? Yes, my love. Daddy making a pillow. Yeah. Chicken. Mm -hmm. Pillar one chicken. Daddy. I'll be in the live shortly. So if all in team read any comments, I'll just try and just get on track up and slow down once the rice in the pot. Right? So these bowls that we got in Fiance. Is Fiance where we get these bowls? Yeah. This is what we just use for the measurement. I have to shift around my bay leaf and thing because I'm a bay leaf in my bowl of rice down here. So this does be normally my measurement when I'm cooking for us. One bowl. 
that'll be good for about today and tomorrow but as i say i want a little extra rice so i just do like a little pot spoon extra i mean you can peel our baby girl And the thing is that these are supposed to be budget friendly food and meals and things for the family but they're so expensive to make now like corn beef we just buy a brand of corn beef right now we just get two for 29 and as i tell you my mom i say after lent you know the price of them thing going up it does not wash it two three times to get your starch and thing off what type of pillow you like? All you leave all your comments to me. You like your pillow wet, dry, soppy? How you like your pillow? Daddy, Daddy, I wanna set up. You want to set up? Yeah. You can sit down the counter, baby. Daddy, I wanna set up. Just no my love. All right, I rinse it out now. Wash it for the second time now. So I wash out my rice three times. So let me show you the pot before I show you my rice. Okay. This is the pot here, y'all. Peas and carrot, Daddy. chicken, and all it. And now smell that. And this smelling good like I just did. It is with dumpling like this, all it. Nah, daddy hit and now here, they all it. And what I tell you earlier, what left over from the chicken and the sauce, I was supposed to throw this in before, you know. Yes, baby, well. Just now, look here, right? Give me a second. So now, you come in, and you stay in everything now. Yes, baby love. Yeah. Uh, hey, shout out uh, my girl Rada. Uh, Rada, tell me she making she pay out. She does use the Maggi seasoned uh, top of vegetable soup uh, and throw it in the pot. Uh, that is her tip. Uh, yes, baby love. Come on, one second. I'm coming to you now. I turn up my fire and high as well. Let me give me one second, right? And I'll cover any pot. Yes, baby, I'll talk to daddy. daddy. Yeah, you ready to go I sleep? I want some water. You want some water? Yeah. Oh, we want it cold? Alright. Give me a second. Let me get some water for my baby girl. You hear the chicken look? Chick 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 chick. Yeah, hello, man. Daddy, I want water. Yes, baby, you drink some water. You're welcome, baby love. She mommy should have given you some cold water. Yes, yo, let me check all the comments now. Alright, let me go back. Daddy? Daddy? 
Oh, Israel, come on, I have to go back. Yeah, baby. Daddy. Yeah. Daddy, look. Wait. Yeah, that is that is the cornflakes. Yeah, wish your hair was thick. When your hair like this no, is pressure, you know. Like right now, this running from comb in this. Daddy, look. That's my toy. That is your toy? Yeah. No. Baby, you can't show Daddy, right? I make that. You make that? You make that for Easter? Yes. I make that. All right. Yeah. Me too. I afraid lizard bad. Oh gosh, Natty, don't afraid lizard, girl. Don't afraid lizard. They still have nice color, man. Thanks. Good night, good night, fam. Hello, hello. Benji TV. Good night, good night. I hope you're still on the live. What is your name? Panto. Panto, good night. Shalom, fam. That is one thing I love about these states. I could look behind any picture or go in any dark room without having <laughs> oh, it. Oh, they are not listening in these states. Wow. <laughs> That's what I mean. These states are not listening behind it. Yeah, these states are not listening behind pictures and them kind of things. Mm -hmm. I will miss my house, Lizette. <laughs> Baby girl hungry. Yes, yes, yes. Now I just made um toast for them, so they just eat about an hour ago. Seven o'clock or before seven they eat. Corn beef and pigeon peas expensive. How now in Trinidad? Yeah, corn beef and pigeon peas expensive. A ten and corn beef is roughly. Twenty dollars, you might get certain brands for seventeen, eighteen dollars. A ten of pigeon peas is roughly ten dollars. Dark, why you say dark? Hey, hey, Arlene, good night. Been watching some time. Love your vibes. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Israel. Ah, uh, yes, yeah, she loves she daddy. All right, I reached the bottom of the comments now. Like up the live boy. Don't let me Susie come on and go for you. Yeah, baby. You want to fuck? Just now, baby, that you have to cut up the pumpkin. So this is what I put in there for the next time so I can make a little small pillow with anything. What is that Nish watch? A flying bug no fly in off here. Yes, I have a big one. I'm going to kill him with you. Alright. There's something to whack you with. Can I talk to this? I hit the things. Can I turn it off? Yeah. He comes straight through the, the thing outside. Or? Yes, I am. He's a bush bug. Surely come in under the wire mesh because he's flying to the wire mesh and then come under. Come in in good time. Don't worry. I was right there to catch you and deal with you. Take all these things to rinse out one time. So that is part of the country living. As I told Nish, one of the things I always wanted to do is a video like discussing. 
the pros, the cons, how it was for us adapted. When you see a bug or something, how you deal with it? Good thing is not something that happens often. That is the good thing about it. Because, right. Give me a second. Okay. Back away. Like one of the, one of the, this is how much peas and carrots. I will come into the comments just now. Like one of the things what. No baby, baby, baby your sister sleeping, no screaming. One of the things that didn't sit well with me was when we were renting. We were paying our rent and the bedroom wasn't big. It was very slim. All you remember from the vlogs when we did the Christmas cleaning and those type of things. It had no windows, no ventilation. And the AC wasn't working for about a month and a half to two months. And even though it's people with two fans in the room, can not do nothing. One day it was have corner in the house. A day we killed a centipede before we went to sleep. And next centipede in the morning. Take note, the centipede bigger than my finger and long like this. And it was a constant thing in the bathroom. You had to leave only night, something coming. And I was like, wait, we paying our rent. And we had to deal with centipede, gona, we had to deal with snake. I fell out and climb the coconut tree to pick coconut fill to sell over. And he and his daughter saying on any day by the staircase outside where the washing machine and thing was. And it's a poisonous snake by the foot. And next time somebody kill our next one. And I was like, we can't even go in the yard. I remember all the time we tried to do the party for Naraya's birthday. I would literally make a joke saying that we just throw salt up in the air and let it fall down. So we were literally paying our rent. Wasn't cheap. 2000 is not cheap. And we didn't know how landlord and them kind of thing is. And I like, what sense it make renting a place? And it's like you're, you're living in, in country. Better we just move in the country and you know you go buy this in fact your ammonia. You will keep your place clean so you don't have to deal with them bugs. So part of adjusting wasn't adjusting because when we were renting, we were dealing with plenty of shippiness that we wasn't supposed to be dealing with. So this this was like some brown bug that I never saw to, uh, ever before. I thought it was a roach, but it was some kind of mixed there, like grasshopper, hardback thing with hopper. Never seen before. But we only seen him again. He will tell your friends. I just always say that when I kill them, <laughs> they go tell their friends and they ain't gonna come back. I'm gonna check on this thing now. And that is why reasons they always leave your pot and your food cover them. You never know what you mean from there. Come into the comment section just now. I just want to make sure I have some pumpkin to train this pot here. Already. And I train a piece of pumpkin in that bag for my next bubble as well. And as I say, we will get a little calypso pack from extra food. And then we go to stay the pot this. the comments now all right how it going let me go back let me see just now just now i want to read all your comments you did a good job pronouncing the name thank you thank you a lot of people don't I ain't mind, this is wild honey pepper here. I ain't mind the bugs, but you see them lizard thing. <laughs> I 
and they're just talking about things coming through them bricks but it have <laughs> other access points uh you wouldn't believe her eh? i mean like we had to get real creative like when we move in, when we moved in here two brick heights here remember i did that for myself and we did wire mesh meshing on top so that way we could have ventilation the house ain't hot and we had a fruit bat people that just want to come in in the night and them kind of thing and pick up banana and eat so i got creative the regular one and a half inch pvc pipe I put that to block up the space between the purlin and the galvanize on top. So I was creative and budget friendly to block off access points and those type of things. Um, you know, I still don't know where all they live in. We live in Toko side fam. So Matura Toko, that's literally like Arima, then Valencia or Grandi, and then heading up like you're going Toko. We live in literally about an hour and a half away from Port of Spain. You know, I still, okay. That wasn't right. If you're paying a rent, there is certain, exactly, exactly. And the landlord was like, boy, I think that's normal. I just get that. It's because the neighbor and them have bush and this and that. And it like, it had a spot on it in the bathroom, like, he just, all he had to do was come and get some potty and fill it up because one of the things I just practice, I am renting from you. Yes, I'm a tradesman. I know those things, but I don't get myself involved in people's property. Something go wrong, you want to blame me. So as much as I could fix it, I could bring your handyman, bring your electrician, bring your people. So that one of the things he didn't like about me. But I, I stay in my zone. I am the tenant. I will never forget when I when I close off and trip off on him. I say, brother man, I not going through this and I not want to take this. Yeah, nah. This is after nine months. He's like, um, yeah, this. I, I we go organize. I'll bring a contract for you. Think, think, think. Take note. I live in by you nine months. You tell me you have six months contract or one year contract for people to sign. That was. I let him man know. I say, boss. I say I don't intend to stay renting by you no all time longer. He watched me say, yeah, serious. I say, I don't plan. The next month, I gave him notice that I, I'm moving out the following month. And we build the house. We bust out. So June, June, when it was June, July, August, August the 7th, we were fully out of the apartment. August the 7th, I gave him notice in June that July would have been my last month. And that's what we did. We get out because... How people are supposed to deal with all of these things and then no vent in the thing and then you talk about raising the price of rent. And not left in your baby girl. That was aka insane. <laughs> no, I waited for him to get settled before hitting. Daddy. Yeah, baby love. Daddy still had to go and make the calls, so you know. These things is normal, you just get used to it. No, actually, not normal. We just hardly get things like that. Like yesterday, I'm up out with disinfectant ammonia. And the leftover, the dirty water from the disinfectant ammonia, I will add water with more ammonia to it and then show that any walls around the house and those type of things by the water stand. So, no snake, no creatures go there come. But don't play just now. Bats don't play with bat. Them thing exactly. So that's why I make sure I'm block off and them kind of thing. Yeah, they're still here when he bongs the roof and thing. Yeah. Yes, girl Natty, I know you don't stand no side girl. We on opposite sides of each other. We got to take our boat. <laughs> Toko is nice, yes, and we are yet to reach Toko Beach. Good night, Miss Susie. Say good night, Auntie Susie. Good night, Auntie Susie. <laughs> doing good bubbling a little pot here you so cool i can't imagine i can't imagine you tripping off that means you overdid it yep now i i i just get vexed and angry but try my best not for people to get the best the best time out of man to see that side of man is not only that you see when it comes to my family though don't give me that disrespect and it had some other things and I just watch him and I'm like, yeah, you really go and tell me that? He, he literally didn't care. 
He was in the catfish business. Take it or leave it. Night, night, Nina. All right, right, Dad. You have to go back in the pot now, right? So this is this is the rice. Now I think I find it's a little hard, so I want to add some more. This is the color. If you want your pale out darker, you could have put in more sugar or a little brown in a little soy sauce. I did not put any um, coconut milk in this. Is when you know I remember. Hey, Jacob, you ain't put no coconut milk and you ain't put no ketchup. Mm, I have to remember to pick up my ketchup and extra food. But believe it or not, when I cook in peel, I don't really like to cook coconut milk in it. Eh? Right, my ketchup pack actually done. Let me see what I can get out of this. Anybody can tell me my seasoning a choice. Or well, you watch my vlog long enough to know what type of seasoning I want to create this spot. Yeah, you get something and <laughs> you rub the pack. Ketchup and all is something expensive and you know, a pack of ketchup is $10. And in America, people don't really eat ketchup, so. And this only comes also because I put plenty of rice. Some ginger. Some chief, all those who guess chief. You all know chief is my thing, right? One boo boo. I can't be coming out the bottle though. Well, I'll take a Baha barbecue sauce. <laughs> Trees. Some kind of thing. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. On the wall by the light turn, but I did light that's drawing them thing. Uh -huh. 
traffic to the city bar because I already forget some of this here. We have to move on to the cold slow. Oh yes. What do you prefer to eat your your pale with? Are you a cold slow person? Are you a potato salad person? A green salad person? What are you? This is going to need deep freeze and this is going to be my my peel out pack. So I'm going to put this in my deep freeze so next time you make my peel out, it will just come down and go in the pot. These things go in my container to go in the compost pile. That's all right. This is the pair out here. This is the pair out. Any rice? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this. Let's have a nice sauce. This one does bubble down nicely. You like that? They will let this stuff look the same. This is the ginger. By cheap powder. Yeah, I know, right? I great ginger, not plain ginger, but I still got some ginger powder as my finish. Okay, I'm going to put some of this. Most of all, you know, I don't cook with salt in my food, but I have to put some salt in this. I want to eat some of this tonight. You want any food tonight, babes? Oh, yeah. Wait for me. Right. Yeah, see this? Right. And you turn nice less too long. I love the colors I see. about it is that's how I did not put coconut milk if we don't put us in the fridge in the morning it will still be fine if anybody ever watched the camping video I did on my youtube channel you would see that when we went camping with junior we cooked that pail out and we literally had it for like two days so there's no danger of the junior having it for me Thank you. 
the time right now is eight quarter past eight. Let me see comments. Cool to no time. The lights go all night. Um just now. Hi Nishani Kids, hi Nishani Kids from Nina and Miss Susie. <laughs> them girls and them Raya dropping asleep on this right now. Jaylee's asleep. Taylor looks yummy. Yes, Miss Susie. Chef, <laughs> yes, chief all purpose. That means when all they're going to Trin City and thing, that is a fun outing for all they because all they coming from far yep cold slow nice the lights go on all night um no we actually don't leave only lights all night only because i'm doing the um or oh, if it will work all night yes it will work all night right now we have this light bulb right now we have this other light on which is the solar panel lights and i have this one over the top on the head so i actually did something different tonight like when i started this live i decided that however long it takes i'm going to power the house with the power station and that is what i've been doing since before seven o'clock since after six it was on a hundred percent and this is what the power station is showing right now i did this intentionally to show you all so right now we have 13 watts feed in the house. There's 13 watts. Well, the MiFi is fully charged, so I can unplug this. So that is 12 watts. This is our um, inverter and power station arm thing. This battery is on 100%. So we're not using our charge controller and our battery on the ground. The house is being powered by this. So currently, we just have one of these light bulbs on in the kitchen. And... Um, I do not believe any of the two fans that Nish is using is plugging. So that power station literally just powering this, the MiFi and a Wi-Fi extender in the house and that no reach um 93%. So if we put on the fans, those type of things, actually the next fan is plugging. Let me take it over to show you all. This white fan is actually plugged in. It fully charged because it was charging before, so it was using about 18 watts. The plug in over here. So let me put it on. And when I plug it on and turn it on, the power station is using 19 watts. You can see that it's using 19 watts. So we can literally um, use our house, the things in our house anyway, as I tell you all. We could literally don't have anything connected, meaning don't connect it to the charge controller, solar setup, don't connect it to the power station. And we should be good up until about 1, 2 o'clock. That should be the time the fan battery dies, depending on the speed we have it on. So, yes, we can leave only light to the night. Right. So, I'm turning off the pot now. The paper is finished. So when I leave it covered on, the rest of water will dry up. Looks good. Um, you know what? I kind of like when you're in the kitchen cooking. It's a nice, real cool, <laughs> relaxing kind of vibes. Do this more often. That is the plan. Um, like you're like plenty pumpkin in your pillow. Yes or no? Um no i just like the pumpkin because it brings out the flavor the taste and it gets in your healthy vegetables eat. 
God, that looked like plenty at first. It didn't look, yes, but when you rice boil, it expands. Yep. Pela one cold storm, as Susie say. Yes, yes. The 18 hour only hit that like button, she say. Do the thing, do the thing. So. Pela I'm done. I ain't start my cold storm yet. Alright, that's how let's do more cleaning. Not light, or as I say, that I'm not sure they are trick. Maybe that food is nice, girl. It's nice, it's real nice. Nice. So, when we purchase our Bluetooth speaker in Valencia hardware, this one, they are not. They got two light bulbs, and I just always tell people that these light bulbs are bright and powerful. So this is a good time to give one an example of how bright the bulb really is. So you have two ports on it here. You plug it in there, and you flip the switch on this end. And what's something? I'm going to take off this light over here. Are you seeing that? Are you seeing that? And it's too easy in it. So that is one of the things that was tell all about like the hardest part I will say um, as somebody was asking oh, about the solar the hardest thing I will actually say the dogs and them something they're running me could be a gona or something This is the smaller half. I will keep the smaller half for next time when we're making it and next cook up with salt fish or something. Yeah. What I was telling you, like with us living off grid using solar, those type of things, the hardest thing to get under control or to understand is your wattage, meaning. How much current do you use or your appliances use? And finding out the importance of how and when. How much it use when you need to charge it and if you're using it in the night. So like us, if we didn't move in here and we had two last four fans, it would have never worked. We could have had two big batteries and then two big batteries would have died just because of the current the last four fans use. Because Alaska fan using 70 watts, but due to the fact that every appliance that we bought for our house or we use on our house is energy efficient, is why everything works. Our radio does charge using 2 watts. These light bulbs is 7 watts. Our fan, our fan does use 22 watts for the most on speed 9. The heels fan for their bedroom use 35 watts for the most on high. And we use it at around 13 to 15 watts on the third to the fifth speed. Um, the radio is 2 watts to charge. The might buy 2 to 4 watts. If it's dead, 4 watts to charge. That is like how we make things work. Because 
I'm not sure of the accurate figure. I need a bigger because it's about 1800 to start and 200 to run. It's an energy efficient fridge. Our washing machine, we can use that all for the one battery we have. The power station can take the spin drive of it and wash our battery. Our battery, we washed the cycle already. It's 200 watts to, to wash, 240 and about 800 to spin drive. Our blender use about 200 watts. So, it's about figuring out how much watts you use. And that is why we could live on grid, we could be comfortable, we could watch television. We know our television uses about 100 watts. So we'll watch television any night for no more than two hours. Watch a movie with the girls any day. We will watch it between the hours of nine and let's say two o'clock when the sun is hot. So that way while we watch it, the battery can recharge. If you didn't watch TV after after 2.30, you didn't watch TV because that is when the sun dropped in. So we will want if anything have to charge back between 2 to 4, it will slow charge. And what the thing my mom taught me to do was cut up the cabbage and then instead of making it, she told me it's game more when you cut it up. You know more than this? When you when you make it close, you cut up the cabbage, you'll get more than grit in it. And now we're going to try to finally mince it. Our dryer, we our dryer works with cooking gas. So if the weather is bad, we'll wash with our generator, use the dryer if we need to power the house and charge of things if we don't have sun for two days the generator will come in very handy for that um yes when it was yesterday we was using the generator to wash and things because we wash from from let's say about 8 till 11 and that's because the water pressure was low so we literally washed for for three hours and only two of it so this is the cabbage here So if you want to have solar in your house, you can buy one solar panel, you can buy a battery. It can make a difference, but you need to understand how much wattage or how, how much current you use in order to make a serious change in your life. As I said, we pack up with Velasco fans, we don't use it. If we is to use it, we'll only use it between the hours of 9 to 2 when the sun is hot. Now we have carrot. Who say KFC calls for is the So when it comes to meal prepping, we should be good with us here now. We have for Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Friday is our buy food day if you want to buy food. Um tomorrow. It has two eggs. I will make scrambled egg finish. Open. Okay. Tomorrow morning I'll make scrambled egg finish. 
I have some potato probably Thursday morning or something. I might make a little fry aloo and salad bake. What's up, Johnny? Hey, come here, Johnny. Come here. Watch Johnny you now. Show them how much plat you have. I don't have to take it. Hey, would you tell me? I want another one without that fine. I don't have to take it. Don't believe the smart. One more, I tell you. I don't have to do the camera. I just need to that woman here when I have it out. I always say, Jake. I always say. Let me check the comments. Miss Susie, say goodnight, Johnny. Night, Miss Susie. We ain't reached Toko Beach as yet. No, we ain't reached Toko Beach as yet, and we're so close. Mm -hmm. All you're going and eat good tonight, boy. Save me a plate, eh? but pay out that does taste better the next day. <laughs> Correct. Uh, um, yes, yes, he's close, so better than all the other, especially. <laughs> yes, true. I never had Popeyes. All right, well, yeah, sorry about that. We think we don't know what was going on there while it was in mm. Back to the comments. green seasoning the inside here with this cold so Inside, nice cold so. The little one by me is just bright. The camera not do that. No justice. I'm packing out with my things. Putting these things in the cooler by the time. So I keep the time going on my so far from my friends. Johnny Fan, I'll come on me if you want food. Where is she going? Now? I'll do it to consume more for tomorrow. Get up. To consume now or for tomorrow? However, she wants this.
să găsesc la jumătate în Europa, că e în Montaigne. Cum mă spune, ai să-i vorbesc. Tot în Europa. Yeah, that one cool, so. This is now I am Jerry Lunch Moon. Then like Daddy. Then one more nice. in my bowl. Yeah. So I don't really want meat. I just want more. We go to use I got more rice. Um, no, she will actually meet me. Can I turn off the this is enough. This is for you to eat, Johnny. Yeah. Today or tomorrow? Tomorrow. Most likely tomorrow. Right. Meat or no meat? No meat. No meat. You see, I put this in a live day making a home. Buy with the same? Good. Only me for the home. Buy one meat at all. Of course, the ball for tomorrow. Yeah. We're putting it on the other uh, compartment, right? Yeah. Ooh, that's a stupid one. Yeah. And that way, I think we'll get the heat from it. So you will take the course up before you leave. Okay. Well, I will take it because I know you really. Right, yeah, that's my new course one then. Alright. And this is the leftover for work. So that's tomorrow meal and this year is for however we split it for the next two days. But you have to take out a little bit to eat tonight, as we said, right? That is this bowl. And this should be enough. I have to wait for 20 seconds. lunch and dinner hmm. 
this. Flavor. This time I'm eating from my bowl. I'm going to jump in the comment section now. Hey Johnny. Yep, who made us always better? I'm making it hungry good. Looking good, fam. Thank you, Miss Susie. Nice. We have 13 people left on the live and we have 16 live like likes. That is what we're talking about all yet. We appreciate already took our clothes for me. We waking up what time? Four o'clock or five o'clock in the morning, babes. And they say four. So we're going to look to organize to be in our bed by 10. I have a movie I want to finish watch. So I just went and eat, spent about an hour on my tablet watching a movie, calling it at night. By 10 o'clock I have to organize, hopefully the food cool down and put away the food. And y'all, thank you for joining us. That was a wonderful night. That was a wonderful live making Pilau. It's always good to do the chit chat with y'all as well while we're doing the live. And I still have to make my banana punch. I might make it, but just put it in the, the, the fridge out by mommy and drink it the next day. But I need to spend a little quality time with my doodle right now. Let me flip the camera and show that she face. I have to spend some quality time with my doodle. Who eating that bowl of pill out there? Right now she has a raya line on top of her. Isn't a raya line on top of her? Yeah? Angeli, yes. <laughs> and let me show the power station what going on. I flip on the light switch, I come back in the corner. So, as I said, we're down to 92%. We're using 21 watts right now. So, now, watch out, watch out, that's right, Olya. This is how easy it is for me to make the switch over. Switch on my, this is the battery over here. Flip on the inverter. Show hmm? us some more food. Yeah. All right. Now we're going to switch over the light so the place go and get dark now. No, I can't find it, girl. The hole. Ah, I get it. Right. <laughs> so now we connected to our solar setup. Battery dropped to 12.5 volts. And the percentage right now is 91%. So this is house power right now. Or for the solar. As I said, I just do that so all you will see what it's like and understand the wattage. So, light bulb and I want light bulb. You want more food, babes? Eat a lot. Next time, I better take out food for myself. It tastes nice. Tell the people how your husband food tastes tonight. It tastes good. Mm -hmm. That is all you want to say. It tastes good. <laughs> She's sleepy. I want to take my bowl. I want to take my bowl all the way. I expected that. <laughs> all right, Ollie. Thank you for tuning in. Bye bye. Where one? Where one? More close, no? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bye. Right now, I am working on a small setup. This was very helpful. No problem, fam. And feel free to message me on Instagram. 
I don't get to see the message one time if I take a couple message more so I could try to reply by tomorrow evening if you go in the solar video that I posted in December you'll get a listing of the fella who you could buy the solar panels from he have some 3 watt solar, 300 watt solar panel coming in yeah he also have 100 amp hour gel solar batteries right now and you'll get information on the inverter everything Cater to spend about a three thousand to four thousand dollars, and you can have a beautiful setup like us. Where once you do the wiring for yourself, you can have the low wattage light bulb. Things easier and beautiful. The batteries is eleven hundred for one. You get the charge controller and price the in turn price mat for like two hundred and twenty dollars currently, and. I will always be here to assist you in any way that you want. As I say, just reach out to me. Who knows, knows that, yeah, what you see on camera is the same person off camera. So, as I said, feel free to message me on Instagram. And look at that video with us installing the solar panel on the roof. You'll get his contact number. Um, you could call, you could find out what you have in stock and do it yourself. Because if you pay somebody to build it for you, they won't charge you double the price of doing it for yourself. And as I told people, we have four panels on the roof and we only use two. One is to charge the power station anytime we use the power station. And the next two is wired to the, the inverter and the battery all just so in the corner. So we just use two 150 watt panel, that's 300 watts because we don't require more than 300 watts per hour or for a short period for anything we do it so it works out perfectly fine for us y'all thanks for tuning in my eyes starting to feel heavy that means i'm tired i'm sleepy we will see you in another one bye bye